What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys one of my favorite combos from Close Guard. It's a one-two punch that is guaranteed to sweep your opponent off his feet. Ah, oh, that hurt my soul. Alright, goal number one. I want to get control of Bird's left side sleeve. So the way to do this, I'm going to lift my hips up to Bird. I'm going to get really connected. I'm going to pinch my knees together and then I'm going to lift my knees up and over my head. This is going to force Bird to put his hands either on me or on the mat. At the same time, I'm going to take my right arm and I'm going to swipe his so right side out of the way. This is going to guarantee the left arm is going to be put down somewhere in my vicinity, making it even easier to grab. Now when I go to grab it, I want to grab on the inside of his sleeve and then rotate it to the outside of his sleeve. This is going to make it significantly stronger of a grip. It's harder for him to rotate his arm out. He's not going to be able to pull back as well. And when I want to move him around with that sleeve grip, I have much more connection to his forearm, which connects to his torso. So now I have a much stronger grip to play with. Goal number two is to get a pistol grip on Bird's right side, specifically down by his ankle. So to do this, I'm going to start to reach around to the right side. If Bird starts to give me any kind of problems, I'm just going to give his left side sleeve a little bit of a tug, try to knock him off position. I may also use my knees to pull Bird up and over my head a little bit, just to off balance him and make it harder for him to defend. Now, you don't want to fumble with the sleeve grip. Okay, normally I'm not a fan of pistol grips, but when it comes to this specific sweep, the pistol grip is the strongest grip because it transfers energy from lifting motions into his hip the best, especially at the angle that I want it to, which is towards his head when I get him off balance. Now, if Bird has not reacted by trying to sprawl back yet, I will actually go for the Galvao sweep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my left leg to lift my hips up towards Bird's hips and try to get as connected as possible. Now, at the same time, I'm going to start to pull on Bird's left sleeve and get that extended, and I'm going to really load up my right arm that has that pistol grip. Now, I'm going to take my right side, my right leg, and I'm either going to do a big chop with my thigh, or I'm going to take my knee and I'm going to slam it into his side, and I'm going to use that to knock him off balance. This is going to take the weight off of the right side leg, and it's going to let me punch it into the air even easier. He's going to look for somewhere to post his left side sleeve on the ground, but you have control of it, so he's not going to get to. Now, you're either going to ride this sweep all the way up into mount, or we're going to get caught halfway, and we're going to backstep our leg out, pull up on Bird's sleeve and pull up on his pants to reset him down into side control. Now, if Bird did give me the reaction that I want, which is for him to sprawl back on that right side and defend the pistol grip, because he's aware that the Galvao sweep is fucking incredible, what I'm gonna do is as soon as he starts to sprawl, I'm gonna take my left leg and I'm gonna kick it up and over his back as far as I can. So I'm obviously going to rotate my torso to the right. I'm going to try to get up on my right elbow, and now I have a plethora of options, and it depends on where his arm position is, and it depends on how deep I got across his back. The smoother you can do this, the better. The first option I have is to withdraw my right leg and snap a triangle up. The second option I have is to go for an omoplata. The third option I have is to go for a belly down armbar or a straight armbar. The fourth option I have is to push myself up and onto his back and put hooks in. The fifth option I have is to push my hips into his shoulder and knock him over to mount. Now, there's more options from here, but you don't really need more than these five. These are the ones you're going to be playing with. If you want to use your own move set from here, feel free. There's so many things you can combo from it. It's such an amazing position to get to in jiu-jitsu. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. The engagement help us grow the channel, and the more we can grow the channel, the happier Bird is. Otherwise, we hope everyone has a fantastic day and remembers to eat their Panda Express. Bye, have a great time.